Hello, my name is Nigel Griffiths. It's my great pleasure to talk in this video about the new IBM Power System, the S924. It's based on the Power 9 processor and what you really need to know. In this video, we'll be looking at 10 facts about the CPUs. If we take off the front panel and lift the lid, we can see inside the computer. So fact number one, we can have one or two sockets for one or two Power 9 chips. If you look at the Power 9 chip in the top left, then we can see a repeat pattern. Now these are the individual CPU calls. Think of those as a computer in its own right. So a chip can be supporting 8, 10 or 12 CPU cores. So if we do a mass, the server can hold 16, 20 or 24 CPU cores. Each of those CPU cores can run eight programs at the same time. The technical people like to call this symmetric multi-threading equals eight. The competition can only do two. Fact number five, if you do your mass, that means the server can run up to 192 programs at the same time. Fact number six, each of the Power 9 chips has eight billion transistors, but is that a lot? Well, let's look in history. So it is double the number of transistors compared to Power 8 and seven or eight times faster than the previous generations. All those transistors give us bigger data caches for performance, faster I.O. in off the processor and faster CPUs. Fact number seven, lithography. With every generation of chip, we actually make the tracks that make up the individual transistors and components inside the chip smaller. We're now down to 14 nanometers, but how big is a nanometer? Well, here's some examples. A sheet of paper is 100,000 nanometers. A human hair is 80,000 nanometers. So if you take a hair and you split it long ways in half, and then you do it long ways in half again and again and again, you do it 17 times, you're down to the size of these individual track. Fact number eight. So what does all this technology give you? Well, compared to the previous generation, which were very good and fast computers, we're actually having a jump up in performance. The relative performance number is 583. Now, in the year 2000, we had a RS6000 computer that was the same size as the S924, and that was rated as one. So in those 18 years, the computers are now 583 times faster. But let's give you a number you can probably remember. If you compare the Power 8 and the Power 9 computers, our jump in performance is between 40 and 47 percent. Some of our competitors release a new generation of their computers if they get above 5 percent extra boost. So this is quite a jump from IBM. Fact number nine, how fast can we push these chips? We're running these at 3.9 to 4 gigahertz. Our nearest competitor tends to run their server-based chips at about two and a half gigahertz. And this shows us how IBM superior engineering actually gives us this, that performance advantage. Fact number 10 is that the S924 has a smaller brother, the S922. It's only two U in a rack instead of four U in a rack. This means we can't get quite as much air through the box at the front there with the fans. It means the number of CPU cores goes down to 20, but you do get twice as many computers in a rack. So here's a little summary about the 10 facts about our CPU for the Power 9 S924, in case you want to make a note. In my next video, we'll be looking about facts about memory.